Hi, this is Rena from thecheesethief.com. Today, crafting for consumercrafts.com. And I'm gonna show you a project that I love today. It is making beautiful custom artwork using some adult coloring pages. So I know adult coloring pages are all the rage right now. It is so therapeutic, I love doing it. But I wanted a nice way to display my adult coloring. And and I found the using just a few simple materials from consumercrafts.com, I was able to make this beautiful artwork. I don't know if you can see that this is gold foil. And then I colored it in using some colored pencils. So let's get started on this tutorial. For this tutorial, you will need, this is some reactive gold foil. So I took it out of the container, but you can find this on consumercrafts.com in multiple colors. So I'm just using gold. Color pencils or markers or crayons. I love these color pencil pencils. They work really well and that's what I use to color my artwork with. A laminating machine. So this is a laminating machine that I bought a long time ago, but you can use the mink system that is on consumercrafts.com. That one actually works really well. So I highly recommend that you, if you don't have that uh, laminator, you go out and buy that one because your foil will look very pretty. And if you are using a laminating machine and not the mink, then you want to use uh, parchment paper. And this is just a large sheet of parchment paper to put into the laminating machine. And you will also need a laser jet printer. So that's super important. You're, I printed these out in a laser jet printer. You cannot use inkjet because the foil will not react to inkjet. You need laser jet. And if you don't have a laser jet printer, you can find these images online and go to like a Staples and see if they can print it out on a laser laser printer. Or you can see if they have a copy machine that will print out in toner. So let's get started with the tutorial. So I have my image that I printed out on my ink laser jet. And I am going to open up my foil and just cut a piece of foil that's big enough for this. And I am going to get a piece of parchment paper that I have. This is just a regular piece of parchment paper. And this is kind of my um, carrying case to put inside my laminar laminate. I'm just going to cut out the trim these edges because I don't want them to get stuck inside my laminating machine. So you can just trim these and you can save these for like other projects if you want. And now you're doing the gold side up. So this is silver on the other side and it's a matte silver, but this is the color that you want. So you wanna make sure your image is covered and then we're gonna feed this through the last layer. Okay, so it came out of the laminator and you want to wait for it to cool before you open it. It's very exciting, I know, and it's really hard to contain yourself, but wait until it cools. It's like baking a cake. You don't want to take it out when it's hot or else the cake may break in the middle, right? So let it set a little before you open it. So I'm just gonna you can put a fan on it or something, just touch it and make sure it's cool before you open it up. And then even before I open it up, sometimes I like to like, so now I'm gonna peel open. And this is the most exciting and satisfying part about doing the foil. Do you see how beautiful this is? I don't know how, if you can really see in this light how amazing this looks. And this is actually a really cool negative space. If you had um, a black, like you've printed out all inkjet in black and then you, you laminated it with this, this would make a really cool negative space picture too. But that will be a, a separate project. So can you see how amazing this looks? There are a little bit of wrinkles in there and I think it's because I use a laminating machine and not the mink. But overall, I am really happy with this. And now it's ready, you're ready to color it. So 
just like this one I just colored it with anything that you want and another really cool idea that I have is that you can just bind together a bunch of these and give them as gifts as adult coloring pages but with a little more flair so I'm gonna start coloring this and I'll be right back and show you the final product I'm using these color pencils that I got from Consumer Crafts and I love these to color they're very pigmented and very buttery when you color and it's really good for layering So I am finished coloring and I just want to show you how it turned out so we can zoom a little. You can see this is the final product and I just love the gold foil. You can see how shimmery it is. And I just wanted to give you some tips on coloring because I have been asked how do I get my pictures with so much depth. And all I actually do is I don't just color straight color in all of the lines. I actually do some shading. So it's really simple. Like this is like a purple and then I'll go on the edges and then do like a dark purple or a red. And then I do it for everything and I kind of blend colors too. So if you can see there, I started with yellow and then I blended it to red and I even added a little purple and it just gives your picture a little more dimension. But even if you don't do that, the gold foil just definitely adds something to the image. So after you're done with this, you can just put it into a beautiful frame. I love the floating frames. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please visit me at thecheesethief.com for more tutorials like this. And also be sure to check out consumercrafts.com for all the materials used in this tutorial. If you happen to make this, be sure to tag Consumer Crafts on their Instagram site or myself. My username is the cheese thief on Instagram. I would love to like and see your designs. Thank you. Have a great day and remember to be kind to one another. Until next time. Bye now.